to the little schoolhouse where schoolwork can be fun. And we can sing and laugh and play while learning. Come on in the little schoolhouse for we just for you. Did you see him? No, but he promised he would be here. Well, if he is here, he's just invisible. Is he afraid of Mrs. Sullivan? Of course not. Mrs. Sullivan's the best. Sure, but who ever heard of a rabbit in school? Maybe he's afraid he'd have to sit out in the hall. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Sullivan. It's a beautiful day today for having some fun and using your imaginations. That's why today we'll be learning about some shapes. The circle, the square, the rectangle, and the triangle. He's here! What was that, Tommy? Nothing. As we learn about them, try to think of things that you see every day that have these shapes in them. Whatever are you looking at? A very strange. <laughs> <laughs> the first shape that we'll talk about today is this. Does anyone know what this is? Can you think of things around you that are just like this shape? Rocky, are you daydreaming? No, Mrs. Sullivan. Is there someone you know out on the playground? Yeah, I mean no. Hey, do you know what this is, Rock? I'm trying to remember. It's sort of shaped like my basketball. That's right. Now, you know what the shape is? I know. I know what it is, Mrs. Sullivan. All right, Tommy. What do you think it is? It's a circle. Oh, yeah. That's right. Circles are everywhere around us, too. Think now. Where have you seen a circle before? Rocky, where have you seen a circle before? Circles are my favorite shapes. I like them best of all. I see circles everywhere when I play basketball. Michelle? Seems I've seen some circles too. Now please don't rush me away. I eat from one every day. See, it's my dinner plate. Very good. Now, Tommy, where have you seen circles before? I see circles too. You know the best ones are, I feel. Circles that are wheels upon our merry Oldsmobile. Jody, my, you're quiet. Can't you think of anything? Let me think a circle. I know my mom's wedding ring. Michelle, can you think of anything else? There's another circle, too, I thought of that is neat. Lollipops are circles, too. They're circles that are sweet. Astronauts will tell you you'll see circles amongst the stars. Earth's a circle, so's the sun, and Jupiter, and Mars. You know something, Tom? It's true. Circles are everywhere. All over the world you'll see circles. If you come with me and use a little imagination, you'll see exactly what I mean. From outer space, we can look back on our Earth and see one of the most beautiful circles of them all. See the circle? It's our world. Every day on Earth, we look up at a bright, shining circle. See the circle? It's our sun. And at night, we look up, and once in a while, we see our beautiful circle. See the circle? It's our moon. When we play games, we sometimes play with circles. See the circle? It's a home run circle. And without some circles, we'd be in for a pretty bumpy ride. See the circle? It's the wheels on your bicycle. You can have fun at the beach with a circle, a beach ball circle. And of course, circles do have their ups and downs, like this yo-yo circle. <laughs> Boys and girls, you've got it now. You'll all see circles there. In everything around you, you'll see circles everywhere. Sullivan's right, you know. Circles are everywhere. There are big circles and there are little circles, but I don't have to tell these kids. They already know that. That was wonderful. You certainly are using your imaginations today, class. But can you tell me what makes a circle a circle? That's simple. A circle is perfectly round. A circle doesn't have any corners. 
You can roll a circle and you can bounce one too. You can eat circles. What? Cookies are shaped like circles. So are donuts, M&Ms, and oranges too. She's right, Rocky. All those circles can be eaten. Circles are everywhere if you keep your eyes open. But now I have something else for you. It's another shape. Would you like to guess what it is? Yes! Let's guess. It has four corners and a side and a side and a side and another side. And all the sides are the same. Hey, Jody, you need any help? It's a square, isn't it? You got it. That's right. It's a square. Jody? I know what it is, Miss Sullivan. It's a square. You're right, Jody. You kids sure know your shapes. The square has four corners, its sides are four too. Each side is the same size and still there's more too. Each corner is the same too, it's just like your blocks. A square is a shape that is just like a box. There are squares all around us, you see everywhere. Can you think of things that are shaped like a square? I may be mistaken, but I have a hunch. We all eat some squares with our crackers at lunch. You know, Tommy, squares aren't hard to find. All you have to do is look for four sides and four corners that are the same. Come with me, you'll see exactly what I mean. Remember, you have to check to see that there are four sides and four corners all exactly alike. Do you see the square? You got it. You know, lots of things can be made to be square. A table, for example. Or you can look out a square when you look out the window. Have you ever played a game with a square? How about a checkerboard square? And you know, the dice you play with have squares on every side. All you have to remember is that the square has four sides and four corners all alike. But here's a puzzling square. And when I play games with my computer, the screen's a square. You're right, and there's pizza. But pizzas are round. But not when they're still in their boxes I found. Hey, I have a riddle. Guess what? If you dare, a square next to square next to square inside square. I know something like that. I bet I can guess. The answer's a checkerboard. Nope, it's for chess. But my dad plays checkers. Well, my dad plays chess. The answer is checkerboard. I must confess, an awfully good riddle. Let's not have a fight. You must understand that both answers are right. So now do you see that almost anywhere? You'll find something wonderful shaped like a square. Like that one. All of the things that we talked about, the crackers, the blocks, the checkerboard... Chessboard! Oh, chessboard. And even the pizza box, they're squares. Isn't the blackboard shaped like a square too, then? No, it's not a square. It has two long sides and two short sides. Well, it's kind of square. That's right, Michelle. It's like a square, but it is really another kind of shape. Does anyone know what this shape is called? Hey, Rocky, it's a rectangle. A what? It's a rectangle. A rectangle? Oh, Rocky, you've got it. Rectangle shapes is the name of my song. Two sides are short, the other too long. Corners of rectangles just like the square Always are equal, the same everywhere Squares are not rectangles, no, that is wrong Two sides are short, the other too long Shapes can be found by the person who tries Looking around him with wide open eyes Now that I know just what rectangles are I'll see rectangles in each candy bar that's not the only treat I can see, chum. 
Shaped like a rectangle, think about gum. Most of the fridges that I ever knew had a rectangular shape to them too. Knock on a rectangle, that's what it's for. When that rectangle is someone's front door. From a rectangular box of cornflakes, I get the breakfast each morning Mom makes. I never thought of it this way at all. I play on rectangles playing football. I bet another rectangle just might be the rectangle we sleep on at night. Yes, beds are rectangles. You couldn't be wrong. Two, two sides are short and, and the other two long. You know what, Jody? It's not hard at all to tell the difference between a square and a rectangle. All you have to do is look for four sides. Two sides are short, the other two long. The four corners are all the same. Now come with me and you'll see exactly what I mean. Every night, I lay me down to sleep on a rectangle. It's my bed. You have to open a rectangle every time you go in the house. It's a rectangle door. And here's quite a stack of rectangles. Each brick is a rectangle, and they all go together to build a rectangle chimney. In my town, the skyscrapers are all rectangles standing against the sky. Reach in your wallet and pull out a rectangle. Money. Then have a stick of gum. It's a rectangle, too. The speakers on my stereo are rectangles. And even our country's flag is a rectangle. Did you know there's even an American rectangle on the moon? My boombox is a rectangle. Every day the letter carrier carries hundreds of rectangles. Letters are full of rectangles. The envelope is a rectangle. The stamp is a rectangle. And lots of times the letter inside is on a rectangular piece of paper. Just don't forget, and you'll never go wrong. Two sides are short, and the other too long. Two sides are short, and the other too long. That is the rectangle, sing along. Oh, two sides are short, and the other too long. That is the rectangle, sing along. Rectangle. If you never heard that word before, it's a hard word to say. And the rectangle does look like a square in some ways, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Who can tell me how a square and a rectangle are alike? I can. They both have four corners alike. Yeah, and they both have four sides. Right. Now, how are they different? Well, the rectangle looks like a long square. That's just because two sides in the rectangle are long and two sides are short. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> <laughs> Let's all say rectangle. Rectangle! That was very good, class. But there is one more shape we still must discuss. It's called a triangle. Does anyone know what a triangle looks like? Does it have three sides? And three corners? Exactly! You've got it! One, two, three, one, two, three sides in a triangle. One, two, three, one, two, three corners you'll see. Just close your eyes now and dream of a triangle. What's like a triangle, can you tell me? Mommy's an angel, don't sleep inside triangles. They call them pyramids, though I have heard. Put four triangles together and what you got? Houses for mummies and spooky's the word. Jody, I'm starving, so let's order triangles. Pizzas are triangles. No, but it's nice. When you're not hungry, just have one triangular piece of a pizza. Oh, you mean a slice. Time fly, Jody. Look, it's a Christmas tree. See any presents around here for me? I see the prettiest, happiest triangle. It's a triangular Christmas time tree. You won't have 
any problem finding triangles around you, all you have to do is look for three sides and three corners. Come with me, you'll see exactly what I mean. See? Here's a sweet triangle. It's a triangular piece of candy corn. And of course, up on the rooftop, you can see triangles. See the triangle? And sometimes when we cut up our food, it's a triangular slice. See the pretty triangles in the lovely bowl? Triangles are strong, too. That's why we build things with triangles. Strike up the band with the musical triangle. Ting, ting, a ling is the song that we hear. Ting, ting, a ling is the song of the triangle. Why call it triangle? I think that's clear. One, two, three, one, two, three sides in a triangle. One, two, three, one, two, three corners you'll see. Just close your eyes now and dream of the triangle. What's like a triangle, can you tell me? Rocky, Rocky, are you listening? What? Oh, yes, Mrs. Sullivan. I was just thinking about all the triangle shapes in the world. There's pyramids and slices of pizza and Christmas trees. I know something else that is shaped like a triangle. You know that instrument that we sometimes play when we have band lessons? Well, it goes ting, ting, a ling. It's even called a triangle. I wonder why they decided to call a musical instrument a triangle. Because it's shaped like a triangle, silly. Oh, <laughs> Rocky. I know something shaped like a triangle. A piece of cherry pie. Cherry pie is nice, Jody. But personally, I prefer carrot cake. Mmm, you would. I would what, Jody? Mmm, nothing, Mrs. Sullivan. <laughs> the swing set out in the playground has triangle shapes. On the ends, you know, the poles that go into the ground. You know what I mean. Michelle, that's a triangle I never thought of before myself. You're doing great so far, class. Now, class, we're going to play a game with all the shapes we have learned today. Oh, goody! I just love games. Like baseball. Yes, but this is a new game that I don't think we've ever played before. What are the rules of the game? They're very simple, class. The four shapes we have learned today appear on the first page of your books. Across from these shapes are four more of the same shapes, but they are all mixed up. Draw a line connecting the two shapes that are the same, like the line you see connecting the two squares. I found two shapes that are the same. So did I. This has always been one of my favorite games. Any of you kids want to race me at matching shapes? This circle and this circle are the same shape. You are doing great so far, class. Rocky, how about you? You can't trick me this time. These two are rectangles and these two are triangles. I bet you thought I couldn't do it. Learning shapes can be a game. You can play it with anyone. Can you name the shapes you see? It's easy and it's fun. You can ask your mom and dad if you need a clue. Find a shape and say its name. It's not so hard to do. Now, kids, find the circle, the square, the rectangle, and the triangle and play the shapes game. Name a shape and find a match. That's the game we play. There's a shape for everything. Can you find one right away? See the triangle on the roof. Spot the circle in the air. Now we're having so much fun, cause shapes are everywhere. Now, boys and girls, let's see if you can find the circle shapes in these pictures. Look. See the circle? It's a beach ball. 
See the circle? Every time you talk on the phone, you talk into a circle. See the circle? It's the wheels on my bike. Very good. You got the idea. Now, let's see how good you are at picking out the square shapes in these pictures. Look. The crackers in your soup are squares. You look out a square window. And here's a puzzler full of squares. You're all learning. Very good. Now, you know, of course, that a rectangle has two sides that are long and two sides that are short. Let's see if we can pick out the rectangles in these pictures. See the rectangular ice cube tray? This sponge is a rectangle. There's a letter inside this rectangle. You're doing fine. Now, can you pick out the triangle shapes in these pictures? Take a look. Mm -hmm. That's a sweet triangle. Candy corn. Up on the rooftop, there's a triangle. And here's a triangular building. But now, let's have some fun. Let's see if you can pick out all of the four shapes from these pictures. Now we're gonna mix them all up. Find the circle, the square, the rectangle, and the triangle. Here we go. Look. See, it? it's a circle. Did you guess? It's a square. How about that? Triangle? Did you say circle? Good. Is that a circle? You bet. What's this one? Did you get it? Okay, here's another one. What did you say? That's more like it. Very good. How you doing? Here's another one. Here comes another one. Did I hear a wrong answer in there? Very good. Very good. You're doing swell. Very good. I think you're getting the idea. Here we go, do you see it? Is this a toughie? Nah, you got the idea. This is a lot of fun, isn't it? <laughs> Learning shapes can be a game You can play it with anyone Can you name the shapes you see? It's easy and it's fun You can ask your mom and dad If you need a clue Find a shape and say its name It's not so hard to do shape and find a match that's the game to play there's a shape for everything did you win the game today you're a winner when you can name all the shapes in the pictures there you can have a lot of fun cause shapes are everywhere 
All of the shapes that we learned about today, the circle, the square, the rectangle, and the triangle, are part of the many activities that are in this book. You did so well learning about these shapes, now you can have fun and practice what you learned today by working through the shapes book. Look at all the neat things that are in this book. Just follow the directions on each page. Yay, we finally get to color. We sure did a lot of fun things today. We sure did, Jody. And we have a lot more fun things to learn and do in the days ahead at the little schoolhouse. See you next time. <laughs>